Hey, what's up everyone? And welcome to this little tutorial here about my brass section. I made the other videos on the spiccato strings and the percussion, but I thought I would on it, wanted also to show you guys about my uh, how I kind of spread out my brass and the samples I use and stuff like that. So let's just play through here the main part of this uh, promo track that's also been used in, uh, in those other videos. And then I'll show you what, uh, what my brass is doing. All right, and as usual, ignore if it's clipping. That's just how it is. <laughs> okay, here we go. All right, there we have it. That is the beginning of that main part, and this is my brass. What I wanted to do here is actually, let's do something fun here. We can create, so I'll show you how I build it up from scratch. And a fun thing, I was actually listening to the Inception soundtrack the other day. So I figured for fun, why not just kind of do a quick little recreation of those four chords, just to show you how I spread my stuff out. And it's a very famous, you know, brass uh, thing going on there. So figured we could use that. First, I'm just going to show you what I'm using, as I've talked about before also. It's the horde starting down here in the lower end from Trailer Brass. Pretty much my go-to stuff. Trombones, the same. Trailer Brass, Trailer Brass, and French horns. We have one in between that I use kind of like a glue in between the trombone section and the French horns, and I use another French horn patch here that is from Symphony Essentials. Um, and I just kind of use that as, I'm not really thinking in terms of orchestration for that. That's just more like a in-between kind of a glue thing to make it even fatter. And then we have more trailer brass here, the horns, the French horns, and then finally I use from Cinebrass the 12 horn ensemble. It's standalone, so you can buy it just this patch. Okay, so what I figured we'd do, as I just said, uh, let's just do it for fun. Let me take the piano here, really quickly. So, these are the chords that starts in an E that I used in my, the other example I just showed you from my track, so I figured let's just base it in E. Anyway, it doesn't matter where it's, what we're doing. The chords would be just here, these. Well, actually, it's the, the the major there, but major seven. Let's just do the natural thing. Anyway, that's just on the piano. I'm gonna show you now how I spread things out. So I always start here with this the horde that I talked about before. This kind of lower end, you know, really rich, synthy, almost French horn kind of sound. You don't have this, you could use anything. You could use the French horn itself. You could tune it down, pitch it down, and just to get this kind of lower end. You could use a synth if that works for you. And you see here, I just do in octaves because I think the sound just sounds awesome if you do that. So I will do that. Now for this little inception thingy, I'm just gonna play this. So that is how I start with everything, as in the end I'm going to just go back to my original part here just to show you the spread, but I figured it's fun to uh, do it from the beginning here. Uh, so yeah, I have that. Let's see just the tempo here so I can... Uh, okay, so we'll just do that. Two, three, four, so on. Let me just move this again, so... There we go. Okay. All right. There we have that. I just leave that there. It's a nice thick bass there. Now when it comes to the trombones, I like to spread them out as much as possible. 